Okay. It's, it's about three generations of women that meet in a steam room and just kind of talk about their lives and love and love it. At, at, when she was 80, in her 80s, she fell in love again with Dick Anthony Williams' character. And Ali Sheedy plays a, a woman that's 50 that falls in love at, at her age with a younger guy. And it's the teenage girl that has a relationship with someone. So it's three generations of women. It's a really good movie. And they're probably going to re-release it now that, that, that Ruby's gone. But I, I suggest anybody that hadn't seen that or rented it, it's called Steam. Well, you talked about she being an icon. She died uh, this past week at the age of 91. Yes. Uh, she was born in Cleveland, Ohio, but she was uh, raised in Harlem. She attended uh, Hunter College High School and went on to graduate from Hunter College with a degree in Romance Languages in 1945, and she was a Delta. Yes, she was a Delta, that's right. She joined the American Negro Theater as an apprentice, uh, working with Sidney Poitier, Harry Belafonte, and Hilda Sims, and on and on and on and on and on. But, you know, for me... Uh, Denz um, I almost called you Denzel, man. That's okay. You call me Denzel. <laughs> uh, I want you to still tell him that my man phrase is mine. He stole it. But anyway, uh, you know when he says my man, I was oh, saying yeah. I was saying my man before he was saying my man. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know for me, uh, Ruby D and Ozzy Davis. Uh, my memories of them, for as much as they were on the screen, was for the work that they did during the Civil Rights Movement. Oh, absolutely. People forget about that. And also Harry Belafonte. Uh, they were virtually on the front lines of the civil rights movement. And I, I heard, I think, something perhaps on National Public Radio where she did an interview with them. And I think she was asked the question about how did you come to be in the civil rights movement? And, and as only, you, like you said, she could bat her eye, as only she could say, she said, honey, I was born into it. <laughs> That's you know, right. I was born into well, the civil rights movement. Well, only a few entertainers at that during that time in that era were even capable of um, representing America in a way that only she could and Ozzy could. Yeah, you know, I, had, I had the pleasure of working with Ozzy Davis as well. I, we didn't have any scenes together, but it was a movie called School Days with Spike Lee, and he played the coach, the football coach. I don't know if you remember that. I do. Yes, yes. Great scene. Very funny scene, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that filmed in Atlanta at Morehouse? Yes, we filmed at Morehouse. Yeah. Uh, Lanning, yeah. In fact, we got kicked out of uh, uh, Spellman, Spike Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Is Spike that right? Lee, uh, he didn't give him the script. He didn't give the uh, president the script until we got there. And then, we, of course, then when he read all these things we were doing, like hazing and things, he said, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> But we, we, we still got to film a lot there all over. It was fun. We're talking, uh, if you just tune in, you're listening to the Hubert Smith Radio Show, 90.3 The Rock, WUTK, 11-11 on this Father's Day, uh, June 15th, 2014. We're talking with Knoxville's own, uh, our friend uh, Silk Cozart, who has had the benefit of working with the late Ruby D, and so he's sharing with us uh, some of his experiences uh, working with, with that fine lady, uh, Silk, uh, you've been blessed and fortunate to work with a lot of uh, leading actresses, I guess. And is there any more of a leading actress than uh, Ruby Dee? No, I mean, she's the epitome of, of a leading actress mm -hmm. because she represents um, not only um, a strong female, but just a strong human being as well. I, I remember, let's see, we worked about, we were there about two months in New Jersey filming Steam. Let me tell you, when I say that she walked in every morning and spoke to everyone. She knew the person that cleaned up their names and would go over to somebody you wouldn't even, I didn't even recognize some of these people. And she would say, now, how's your, how's your dog doing? I know that you went, took her to the vet yesterday. <laughs> I mean, you know, she's so, in, you know, just involved with life that she just made you, she made everybody better. She's like, just made everybody better that was around her. And she, she made you feel you cared, that, it, that she cared, that you mattered. Um, it didn't matter how big a star was around. I mean, people visited the set all, every day. Somebody huge was there seeing Ruby. And she never took her eyes off you when she was talking to you. It was always you and her engaged. And uh, I remember I, I said, I would love for you to meet my mom. <laughs> 